Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Capricorn. And because it's general, it means that it's not going to resonate for all of you. And it also means that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching or watching for yourself. If you would like a personal reading though, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Capricorn, so Moon Rising and Venus signs. Last two weeks of October. Your first card out is Nostalgia. Okay, so there's a lot of nostalgia, <clears throat> plain and simple. Um, you're missing somebody, they're missing you. All right, I feel like this is the um, <clears throat> this is the mutual energy between the two of you. And even if you are together, it could be that there is a nostalgia for the way that things were in the past, or you know maybe <clears throat> maybe you're just not feeling as close as you used to be. But there's a nostalgia here. All right, let's see for the situation. We have the Nine of Swords crossed by the Devil. <clears throat> okay, so that's your your sign, your element showing up here. All right, so some of you might be dealing with another Capricorn. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be though. Um, whatever the case, there is a lot of anxiety. And actually what this is coming off as is fear. There's a fear here. <clears throat> There's a fear which is actually a little bit toxic and it is affecting the, this connection in a way where it does create a lot of stress and it does create some pain. Let's see the recent past, we have the hanged man. Okay, yeah, so somebody is, you know, kind of taking a step back here or things just, you know, felt like they seized. Okay, like just kind of stopped. <clears throat> so I can see why there is this nostalgia. All right, so for your energy, we have the four of cups and the two of pentacles. So a little bit of depression here or just a little bit of feeling like, you know, like disappointed. Disappointed and just not knowing what to do about it. Let's see for them. The nine of wands and the six of wands. <clears throat> yeah, it definitely feels like this person <clears throat> has a little bit of resistance or just feels like something here is threatening to them. Feeling like things are just very, very difficult, even though this is the interesting thing with the Six of Wands, I feel like, you know, they do want to overcome this. They do want to have victory over whatever this is. So I do get that for the most part, for most of you, this fear is coming from the other person, okay? Unless the roles are reversed. Let's see <clears throat> what you're moving towards. We have a strength, okay? So Leo energy, some of you might be dealing with a Leo. So <clears throat> you're being encouraged to just, you know, stay strong. Stay strong for whatever reason, we'll see. Um, it doesn't mean hold, holding on or waiting for this person. That's not what I'm saying. It's just that you're, whatever the situation is for you, like it is something that is making you stronger. It's building your, resilience all right so for them we have the world okay so this is actually good because this does talk about a successful completion this does talk about success overall right and this is actually what their goal is so <clears throat> let's clarify and see what is happening here because it definitely feels like there's a closing out of a cycle which the devil could also be you know like a, a vicious cycle a pattern that repeats itself or somebody just being stuck in that and with the world I feel like there's a <clears throat> successful completion of that cycle or breaking away from it so let's see the nine of swords with the devil the five of pentacles and the ten of cups <clears throat> so yeah there's Wow. So first of all, the, there's this nostalgia because there was this possibility or there was this feeling, this connectedness to 
there being happiness, love, fulfillment, completion in this particular relationship or in this particular connection with the other person. And right now it feels like there's feelings of neglect or, you know, being ignored or abandoned even. So this might also be creating fear in you and creating, you know, toxic thought patterns even within your own self. And that could be, you know, like driving you crazy, keeping you in this stressed, anxious state. But what I'm also getting here is that this is talking about the other person's fear as well. Yes, this is also, you know, your fear of, you know, this connection, this Ten of Cups not being fulfilled and then, you know, you just feeling... Um, <clears throat> abandoned or rejected as a result. But for the other person's fear, based on their cards, I feel like they have a fear of rejection. They have a fear of, you know, what if I build up my expectations and or what if this is like too good to be true and then I end up being the hurt one. And so I feel like, you know, if this connection started off in that way where it was like leading up to that Ten of Cups, there was this sudden like halt or like a, a, a stop to that. So I feel like that's what that hanged man is. So <clears throat> actually don't need to clarify that. Let's move on to your energy here. Let's see the Four of Cups. The Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands for you as well, right? And it's in the same line actually with the other person having this Nine of Wands. So yeah, you're feeling very, very disappointed here. Um, and I feel like, you know, like I said, that Nine of Swords, it's not just their energy, it's also your energy. This is actually mutual between the two of you. There's a lot of overanalyzing on your end. And I actually feel like this overanalyzing and thinking so much about this and thinking about all the negatives that are happening at the moment, that actually makes it more difficult for you. It makes it feel like, you know, well, this is impossible, you know, and like, how am I going to get through it? And, or maybe feeling like it's impossible for us to ever go back to how things were. And so there's this nostalgia for it. So, okay, Capricorn, let's see the Two of Pentacles. Let's see how we are going, how you are going to get out of this because you will, all right? We have strength here. So for the Two of Pentacles, you have the Lover's card and you have Judgment. Okay, so Gemini also showing up. Um, I feel like you're trying to make a decision here and you don't know which way to go. There's a decision that you want to make in terms of this connection and it could be, you know... As simple as, okay, should I continue to pursue it or should I just let it go? Okay, that could be it for some of you. And for others of you, it could be something very, very specific, right? So if it's something very specific, it's going to be hard for me to pick up on it because it is a general reading. Um, but there's definitely a decision that you're trying to make here or you're trying to understand something. Because I, I get that you possibly don't understand what it is exactly that's happening here with the other person because if they are so stressed and if they are so um, fearful, you know, I'm getting that chances are they might not be completely open about it. Um, so I feel like you're trying to make a discernment here, trying to understand what it is that's going on. Because you're also in this Eight of Swords, so that's telling me, you know, there is some confusion. You don't really understand what's happening. Um, and this is proving to be quite difficult for you trying to on the one hand, somehow maintain this connection, whether it's energetically or in the physical, it doesn't matter. And then also trying to either understand it or decide what you should do. Let's see what's going on with the other with the other person here. Let's see this nine of wands. Ooh, strength for them as well. Okay, so Leo showing up again a second time. And the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are. Yeah, I mean, they are feeling weak. I feel like, you know, this person is finding it very difficult to find that strength 
to fully come into this alignment with you. There's something about this connection that to them feels very, very challenging. And I actually feel like part of what is, is making it challenging for them is you, your energy, but not in the bad way. I feel like, you know, they just see you as this queen of pentacles. Like, you know, you are the type of person that they could actually see themselves with long term. And so then there's this, that creates this fear of, okay, well then what if it doesn't happen? You know, and I am emotionally invested. That's going to leave me feeling left out in the cold and I'm going to feel rejected and that's going to be painful. So it's like they're having a really hard time, like, just embracing their own emotions here. That takes courage to do. And I do see them building, building that up, um, but it might not look like it at the moment because they're in that nine of wands energy where it feels difficult and they're feeling intimidated by it. And I do though get that the stronger that you become, right, strength, and it's showing up here attached to you, like the stronger that you become, the more that they can actually also, you know, feel confident within their own selves and within this connection. Let's see the six of wands. The chariot, okay, so cancer energy and the six of swords. Oh, all right, okay, so this is a lot of, this is movement here. So what I'm seeing, first of all, for some, for some of them, this could even be, a, um, this could be very literal, okay, it's going to be very specific and it will only apply to, to a few of you, but for some of them, there could actually be a specific trip um, that they are taking. And I feel like, you know, <clears throat> this trip might actually um, be very helpful to them in terms of being able to conquer this fear that they have, okay? Um, for whatever reason. Now, for others of you, what I'm seeing is that this person wants to overcome this fear, right? They do want to overcome this fear and I see them moving in that direction. Although it, the way that they're moving in that direction, it might seem a little bit, how should I say this? Like just not stable, almost like they don't really know what they're doing. Kind of just going for it, but not really understanding the process. And that's okay. That's okay because it doesn't matter. Like they're still moving towards, towards leaving behind like past, past experiences, past wounds, past um, traumas that may have led up to this fear. Let's see strength for your energy coming up. Okay, the devil, so Capricorn energy and the six of wands, okay. <clears throat> So here's the thing, like you, you too are overcoming the fear, right? Because you also have fear, right? With this eight of swords. And so it's like you both have a fear. I feel like there's this mirroring that's going on, except your fear might be slightly different from theirs. And I feel like the fear that you have, like it plays out in a way where it like perpetuates their fear and then vice versa. So it's this like cycle that goes <clears throat> around and around. And I did get this for one of the other signs as well. I can't remember which one it was though. So it does feel like it's a little bit of a theme for some people um, during this time period. And again, it's like that cycle is breaking. I see you having victory over that, whatever that is, and really standing strong <clears throat> in your own power and just being strong overall, just in general, you know? And if, you know, if there's disappointment, okay. <clears throat> being like, okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that and you know just making these discernments making the, these decisions or even being like you know what I don't have to make a decision I, I don't have to make a discernment right now you know I just need to overcome my own fear of this and really I feel like that is the focus that is the lesson and that is you know the um the realization here so let's see the world <clears throat> for the other person 
the Three of Cups and the Two of Swords. So finding some kind of a resolution, especially in terms of something that they were not able to see. I feel like, you know, there was, it's like there's this possibility of happiness that was very difficult for them to see because they were just focusing on the what if it doesn't and then what if I end up being hurt. So I see them moving towards this conclusion of blinding themselves to hey but there's a there's an optimistic possibility here too like it's not just negative so why not you know like sometimes we need to take a risk like if you want to have happiness you have to take a risk which basically means being courageous and going after it even if there is fear and that's what we mean by overcoming the fear so I do see them moving in that direction where they're closing out that cycle. You know, you're overcoming your fear, which in turn is um, actually breaking that cycle where your fear perpetuates theirs and vice versa. So yeah, Capricorn, that is it. Those were your messages. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated. And I thank you so much for watching. Much love.